All right, this is section five video. Um, our lesson is um, over function tables and graphing them. So make sure you have your notes. We've got some vocabulary reminders here. Go ahead and fill in the blanks. Um, then we'll go back and, and talk about them and give some examples. So the first one is a function. A function is a relation that gives exactly one output value to one input value. Okay, so it's a function and it has one output for one input, okay? The function rule describes the relationship between the x and the y value, or my input and my output, okay? So the function rule describes the relationship. And you can organize the input and output values in what's called a function table, okay? So go ahead and make sure and get all these vocabulary words written down, um, and then we'll go back and talk about them. I'll give you some examples, and it'll make a little bit more sense. So pause the video if you need to. All right, so let's, let's look at what a function table is. Okay, this says this is not on your notes, so we're just going to be talking about it, okay? So a function table will have three columns. It might look like this. It might also look like this. Ooh, maybe straight. Um, it can also get to the point where you just have um, an X and a Y input. But for right now, we're going to use the one that has three. Okay. The first column is your input column, which is going to be your X value. Your second column is your rule or what we're going to do to X. And then the third column is your output, which is um, what happens to X after you follow the rule. All right, I know this seems a little confusing. So let's just say that my rule is 3x plus 4, okay? So if I told you that x was 2, if I plugged 2 in for x, that would be 2 times 3 is 6, plus 4, that would give me 10, okay? If I said that my x value was 5, I plug in x 5 for x, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 4, so that gives me 19, okay? All right, so let's put an example in your notes. You're going to write this one in your notes. So this is my example of a function chart. So here's my x value, which I will give you. You'll, we'll have to give you the x value. Here's the rule, and then the output you'll have to figure out, okay? So basically, the x value, I'm just going to plug it in. So instead of x, I'm going to put an 8 then plus 6, because plus 6 is my constant, so my y value would have to be 14. Plug in my x value, plus 6, so my y value would have to be 16. Plug in my x value, so y would have to equal 21. Ah, oh, your favorite number. Okay, so go ahead and make sure and write down that example. Pause the video if you need to. All right, here's a couple of examples. These are not in your notes. If you want to write them, I gave you plenty of room. You can write them. If you don't, that's fine. All right, so my input value is 0, 2, and 5. So I'm just going to plug those in for my x. So 3 times 0 would be 0. 3 times 2 would be 6 and 3 times 5 would be 15. Do you see all I'm doing is plugging in for that x value? Okay? All right, let's plug in for over here. My x value in this one would be 3, 4, and 5. So I'm going to plug those in. So 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 21. Okay? All right. If you need more time, go ahead and pause the video and write down those examples if you want to. It's not required. All right. So this is your turn now. You have three different charts. These are on your notes. I want you to plug in the value. I want to see um, what you're plugging in. So example for this one, it would be 5 times 7. And what would that equal? Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and work these three function tables out.
All right, let's check those answers. All right, check to make sure your rules were correct and your final outputs. Okay. All right, not too hard, right? All right, let's move on. On the bottom of your paper here. Oh, no, let's actually, let's look about this. Sorry about this. Um, let's see if we can write a function rule or an equation um, for each of the function tables. Your equation will always start with y equals, okay? So the function rule or the equation is always what are you doing to your x value. So we're going to be looking here. Okay, this is always going to be my function rule or my equation. So y equals 5x. Okay, y equals 3x plus 2. So your function rule or your equation is always what are you doing to your x value. Okay, right here, 2x plus, minus 1. Okay. That's going to come more into part probably um, in seventh grade for you guys, but I just want you to kind of be aware of what that function rule, um, what you will have to come up with. All right. All right. So now let's look at the bottom of your paper. All right. So you've got um, um, three different problems. Now I want you to make the function chart um, and fill it out. So go back and look up above what you need to. Remember, the function table has three different um, columns to it. Um, and um, look at your example above if you need some help. Okay, pause the video. And here are your values for x right here. So those are the values for x that you're going to need to plug in. All right, check your first one in case you were having some problems with that one. Check your first one. If you were having some problems, go ahead and pause the video and then do the next two. If you're ready, here are the answers for the next two. There's that one. And last one. Okay. All right, hopefully that wasn't too bad. All right, so now we're going to move on to graphing. If you notice, remember, this were my x value, this was my y value. These are my x values, these are my y values, x and y. So if I'm giving you the x and y values, it's going to be very easy now for me to move on to graphing. Okay, it's going to be very easy for me to move to graphing. So if you look, okay, this is when I said I kind of removed the, the, um, the third column there, that middle column. So these are my x and y values values. This is my x, this is my y. So if I give you both those, it's going to be really easy now for you to graph. Remember, this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis. So 0, 0 would just be here. 1, 4, over 1, up to 4. 2, 8, over 2, up to 8. And 3, 12, over 3, up to 12. So 12 would be there, all right? So that is my um, graph. If we were to look at our example from what we had before, again, this is not in your notes, but if I wanted to graph this um, function table, remember these are my x values, these are my y's. So if I look at my graph, I would need to figure out what I need to count by. So if I look at my x values, they go from 3 to 7, so I obviously have enough to just count by 1's. And if I look at my y values, they start at 15 and go up to 35. I, can, I don't have enough to count by 1s or 2s, but these are all multiples of 5, so I'm just going to count by 5. So 5, 10. Notice I'm on the line here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay, on the line there. On the line. Okay, and this is 0, 0. So my input is 7, 35, over 7, up to 35. 6, 30, over 6, up to 30. And 3, 15, over 3, up to 15. Okay? All right? All right, so here is another graph. Let's do this one, and then I'm going to let you do some on your own. All right, so here's my rule, 
2x plus 3. So I have to use this rule in order to come with my outputs. All right, so here's my input values or my x's. So I'm going to plug these in for x. So 2 times 0 plus 3. Oops, I'm not going to write that there because that's going to confuse you. Okay, so uh, 2 times 0 would be 0 plus 3 is going to give me 3. 1 times 2 is going to give me 2 plus 3 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3 is 7. And 3 times 2 is 6 plus 3 is 9. All right, so I have my x values and I have my y's. So now I can graph them. So 0, 3, 1, 4, 2, 7, and 3, 9. All right, that's my graph. All right, you have two examples. I want you to fill in the chart, then graph them. So pause the video, take some time. Here's your rules. There are your rules, okay? There are your x values. So pause the video and come back when you are finished. All right, go ahead and check your answers. If you notice, your, our graph kind of went off a couple places, but that's okay. I know you know how to improvise. All right, so not hard. The, gra the uh, function table is definitely not hard. And now adding on the graphing should not be hard because you know how to graph. You know your X and Y. You know your X values goes right and your Y values go up. Okay? All right, now let's look at a word problem. You have this word problem on your graph. Um, or on your notes. This is your last one in your notes. I'm going to read this one with you. Isaiah is buying jelly beans. In bulk, they cost $3 per pound, and the candy dish costs $2. So that's a one-time charge. The function rule is 3x plus 2. Okay, I gave you the function rule. So now you need to take that rule and put it in the middle there. Okay, that's your function rule. Where x is the number of pounds, so this is how many pounds I'm going to buy, um, can be used to find the total cost of X amount of pounds and one dish. So this is the cost for the dish. It's $3 per pound. I don't know how many pounds. Okay. Make a table that shows the total cost of buying two, three, or four pounds of jelly beans. So that's my X values. These are my X values here. Two, three, or four. Those are my X values. Okay. First thing I want you to do really quick is I want you to finish the function table. So pause the video and come back when the function table is finished. All right, check those answers. All right, so now I'm only going to focus on my x and y values. So my x, y, 2, 8. So over 2, up to 8. This is really small. Um, 3, 11, over 3. Okay, 3 is obviously between 2 and 4, guys. So 3 and then 11, and 11 is between 10 and 12, and 4, 14, over 4, 14. Okay. All right, so that is my function table, and that's my graph. Okay? All right, so just because, again, there's a word problem, don't let it freak you out. Look inside the word problem. It's going to give you everything you need to know. Okay? All right, so now it is your turn, kiddos. All right, you have several problems. You've got three problems for your exit slip. I'm going to give you that x is equal to 2, 3, and 5. So here's your function rule for three different problems, your function rule. You're going to plug in these values for x, so 2, 3, and 5 for all of them, 2, 3, and 5 for all. Complete the function table and then graph them. Okay? All right. Have a great day, guys.